Former President Ma Ying-jeou returned to Taiwan Sunday following a sojourn in Greece. He called for Taiwan and China to engage in talks to avoid war and seek peace and demanded that the Thai administration adhere to the ROC constitution and the law on cross-strait relations. However, DPP lawmakers lashed out at him, alleging he had put Taiwan even more tightly in China's grip and said he would pay a heavy price. Winding up his trip to Greece where he attended a forum, former President Ma Ying-jeou landed in Taoyuan early on Sunday morning, where he received a warm welcome from KMT lawmakers. During the Delphi Economic Forum in Greece, Ma had not only branded President Tsai Ing-wen's rhetoric on relations with China illegal and unconstitutional, but also said that Taiwan and the mainland were part of one China. Upon his return home, Ma called for the two sides to engage in dialogue to avoid war. Maintaining cross-strait peace and regional security is extremely important. We should carry out dialogue on avoiding war to seek peace. I am calling on the DPP government to truly abide by the Republic of China constitution and the act governing relations between the people of the Taiwan area and the mainland area to promote cross-strait relations. Ma insisted that only by returning to the constitution of the Republic of China, Taiwan's formal name, and upholding the idea that the two sides of the Taiwan Strait were not separate countries, Taiwan would be firmly protected. However, some have speculated that Ma is merely acting as a megaphone for spreading the ideas of Beijing's leaders. Our former president was elected according to the constitution of the Republic of China. So why can't he talk about the constitution's content? In the past, he had also mentioned that the two sides were not subordinate to each other. However, his approach this time seems to be capitulating to China's demands, making Taiwan part of one China. He's wrapping the KMT's pro-China label, which it cannot tear off, even tighter. Ma saw his title change several times at the Greek Forum, with organizers seemingly reluctant to address him as Taiwan's former president. Now, his latest remarks about seeking peace with China are having far more of an impact on local politics than on world diplomacy.